Vegeta was always told growing up that he was special, the prince of all Saiyans, and that he had the birthright of becoming the first Super Saiyan in thousands of years. But that title went to Goku. Vegeta tried so hard and even convinced himself that he had become the legend, only to get a hole in his chest minutes later. If it wasn't bad enough seeing Goku do it first, imagine Frieza comes back and you are powerless to do anything, only to be saved by another Super Saiyan, and this time, it's your son. This period in Vegeta's life gave him literal nightmares, and it took him three years of non-stop training and sheer willpower to finally get to Super Saiyan level. It went against everything that he has ever been told. From a young age, he was built up to be the best, but when Vegeta became a Super Saiyan, it was something that he genuinely had to work hard for. Out of anyone who has ever become a Super Saiyan, Vegeta had to struggle the most. But what if Vegeta's dream of becoming the first Super Saiyan came true? What would have changed and how would it have happened? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you today. This is the story of DBZ Gaiden and it goes through what would have happened if Vegeta was the first Super Saiyan, how it happens, what happens as a result, and there's a reason why I chose to look at this story opposed to all the other what if Vegeta was the first to turn Super Saiyan stories that are out there because I really do like the ending. So it starts with everything being normal up until Goku meets Frieza. In this timeline, the darkest timeline, Goku dies in his fight against Frieza. A few days later, Frieza wakes up and sees himself in this biomechanical body. This is the beginnings of Mecha Frieza. Going from wanting immortality to now being reduced to part cyborg, that makes Frieza incredibly mad. Without his father, Frieza takes the initiative to go to Earth with the intent of killing everyone Goku knew. But when he gets there, he is met with a very straight-faced Vegeta. And this time, there is no sign of Trunks or anyone else around. Vegeta has no choice but to take this fight into his own hands. Without any transformations on his own, Vegeta is getting kicked around. This is what would have happened if future Trunks didn't come at the right time and save everybody. It would have solely been up to Vegeta to stop Frieza. Obviously, there is a huge discrepancy in power. Frieza is way up here, and Vegeta hasn't even gotten a transformation yet, so he is getting beat down. But Frieza stops for a second to talk about what the Super Saiyan transformation is, how it was always described as the most powerful thing in the universe, but it was nothing compared to him. Making it a useless transformation, he says to Vegeta, even if you were a Super Saiyan, I still killed Goku, what chance do you possibly have? Crushing his dreams, saying that all this time, your purpose in life is irrelevant. That's what Frieza is saying. And it was at that moment, hearing Frieza talk about how useless of a form it was, that was enough to trigger Vegeta to transform into the first Super Saiyan in thousands of years. When Vegeta first transforms into a Super Saiyan in this, he isn't shocked, nor is he cocky. It's all business. You could compare him to a serious Ultra Instinct Goku. Frieza is caught massively off guard by this, and you see how shocked he is. This story eventually ends with Vegeta putting all of his energy into destroying Frieza. The darkest timeline also ends in the happiest timeline for Vegeta. When he sees that there is no trace of Frieza left, he falls to the ground and starts crying of happiness. He surpassed Goku, killed Frieza, and became the first ever Super Saiyan. Some time goes on, and Vegeta still hasn't gotten up yet. He's gone out of his Super Saiyan form, and when Frieza's men scan his body, they notice that Vegeta's power level is all the way down at zero. And that is the story of DBZ Gaiden. What would have happened if Vegeta...